Hey guys, for today's video, I have a huge Ulta haul for you and this video is titled buying all the things off my Ulta wish list because that's basically what I did. Everything that was left on my wish list. So I did also recently film an Ulta 4000 points haul where I picked up a bunch of things that I've been wanting for a long time. So I'll have that linked in the cards, but then I did still have a bunch of things on my wish list that I wanted to try out. And the reason that I placed this huge order is because Ulta had one week where they had several different 20% off influencer codes that were multi-use, which never happens. You guys know they have not sent out a 20% off coupon all year long, which is very upsetting. And even in the past, when we have gotten 20% off coupons, they're a one-time use only. So the fact that we were able to use these 20% off codes several times was incredibly exciting. And I did not know, I still don't know, when is gonna be the next time that we get 20% off coupons. So I literally decided, I'm just gonna buy everything on my wish list. I will try it if I don't like it, it will go back. So I spent a lot of money here. I'm not gonna calculate it up today and this is not gonna be included in my June spending total. What I'm going to do is test these products out over the next month and then I'll update you in my August haul with what I kept and then I will add in the price there. And also August is my birthday month. I'm sure I'm going to get some birthday money which I will you know, add into my total too to help balance some things out so. You'll see all that. I know that's cheating a little bit um, with like the way I'm sharing my spending information. So because the code is multi-use, I decided to place several different orders to line up with when Ulta does their freebies. So I place an order on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So not all Mondays, but most Mondays, they will have a beauty break. Wednesday always has a beauty break. And then on Fridays on their app, they will either have like, certain specific products that are on sale only on the app or they will have a like goodie bag for free with a certain dollar amount purchase so i have got actually four freebies to share with you because friday i think was like the last day of the coupon maybe it was saturday but i actually placed two different orders on friday so i got that goodie bag twice so i'm very very excited to share everything with you 20 percent off is not a huge discount but considering we never get it it was a lot and I hope a lot of people placed a lot of orders and it showed Ulta like the more times you send us coupons the more products we're going to purchase like I feel like they probably made a lot of money in that week I could be wrong I obviously don't know anything but without further blabbering let's get into the products I'm so excited so starting with my Monday order I picked up four new products and the first one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup in Zero Fair Light, which looks kind of dark for me, but this is not a foundation product or even a tinted moisturizer. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm excited to see if I even like this type of makeup product. And I'm just excited because I haven't really purchased drugstore things in a while, so I'm interested to try this out. So normally this is $12.99 and 20% off that made it $10.39. Next is something that I haven't heard anyone mention at all and I was really excited to see this pop up in the new arrival section which I check every Sunday morning as well as I check every Sunday morning but freebies are available that week. But this is the Jack Black Night Mode Lip Treatment. I love their Intense Therapy Lip Treatment. I actually picked one up during my 4,000 points haul and this is a night lip balm so i'm excited to see what the difference is in the texture and this was ten dollars full price so 20 percent off made it eight bucks which is great and then i did pick up two more of the laura mercier caviar sticks the rose glow collection so i had two of my 4,000 points haul i have two here and then i have two that are going to be in my july haul that i got with different coupons i actually saved more on those two than i did on these i decided to save the 20 percent off for these two shades because i wasn't sure if i was going to love them and it just is killing me not to be able to swatch things in store so that means i might have a greater risk of return products but you guys know i'm not scared to return it's just annoying to have to make the trip but i will swatch the things in this video today this is rose thorn which is a plummy color and then the other shade is Forbidden Rose. 
what she looks like this. It's like a warm coppery brown. That one's very pretty. These are so expensive. Full price, these are $29. So with the 20% off coupon, they were $23.20, which that's still a lot. But I, I like the way these swatch out. The plummy color is like a little more sheer, but they the other one is very pretty and a little more pigmented. So then the beauty break for Monday was the Murad Radiance Revival set, which came with four mini Murad products. And that would be the AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser, a half fluid ounce. I've never tried that before. The Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum, I have tried and I do like that. The Essential C Day Moisturizer with SPF of 30 and the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. I can't remember if I've tried this or not, but I have like one mini eye cream in my collection right now, so I'm happy to have that. So I thought those are some good skincare freebies to try out a nice little routine. And then we have my Wednesday order, and I got four lip products. You will see that I did get a lot of lip products in this video, and I'm very picky with lip products, so I really wanted to try these when they were on sale. They will go back if I don't like them. And I bought two Persona lip glosses, and you can see that these have two different like boxes. So this is the old packaging, this is the new packaging. I guess they're kind of revamping their boxes, which is cool. Wait, is this old, is this new? I don't know, they're different. You can tell, they're different. And I've tried a gloss in the past and I loved the color, but I didn't love the shimmer formula, but I believe these are two cream finish glosses. And I had almost purchased some Persona glosses from the BoxyCharm Facebook group. They were colors that I wouldn't really love. They were just a good price and they had shimmer in them. So I was like, Heather, don't, don't do that. So I was excited to be able to get these. So we've got these two shades. The warm one is Marrakesh and the more cool tone one is Shortcake. And I have a lot of Persona products and I have somewhere that I need to test out, but I want to do one brand review for them. That does not mean I need to have one of everything from the brand, but I just want to do a collective review. Yay, these are cream finish glosses. That's nice. I'm happy about that. So here is Marrakesh and here is Shortcake. Got some good shine on them too. Yay, I'm excited about that. I definitely prefer a cream finish gloss or like at least I don't want to feel the shimmer in it. Oh Lord, I'm trying to go quickly. My camera's dying and I'm just dropping things all over. So these glosses are normally 16 bucks. So 20% off made them 1280. Then I got two of the Jaclyn Hill lip products. I got a liquid lipstick and a lip liner and that's because her niece, Talia might be her name, she filmed a TikTok with this combo and it looked incredible on her and she has fair skin like I do. So I'm hoping that will like it on me. It's a little out of my comfort zone, but I really liked it on her. So the lip liner is in the shade Butter Pecan. And I think these were sold out previously, so I'm happy that they were back in stock for the sale. Oh my gosh. So that's a very warm tan color. Yeah, that's out of my comfort zone. And the liquid lipstick is in the shade Get Real, which is a lighter warm tone shade. Oh yeah, I don't know. Where's it that color looks like? And I also was like tempted to pick up other shades. I was like, no, let me get these first to try out the formula. I do have one of her other liquid lipsticks in Truth, I believe, that my friend Lauren sent me. I haven't tried that one out yet. But again, because I didn't know when there was gonna be another 20% off coupon, I just wanted to get these now to try them. So the lip liners are $18, so 20% off made it $14.40. The liquid lipsticks are $20, so 20% off made them 16 bucks. And the beauty break with this one was a four-piece Laura Mercier set, and it came with a mini pure canvas 
hydrating primer, which I have not tried before, so that'd be nice for winter time. A little mini powder blush in Rosé, which is so pretty. Oh, I love that. We have a mini caviar volume mascara, which I have not tried yet. I have a full size that was gifted to me, but I haven't used it yet. And then a little mini lipstick in the shade a la rose which is a pretty slightly purpley pink color i don't know if i'm gonna love that shade but i do really want to try that formula so i thought that was a really awesome beauty break because it wasn't a bunch of like repeats of what we've gotten before so i was very happy to see that and then we have my two friday orders and these included a bunch of lip products so the first thing is new i i haven't heard too much except i've seen some people posties and PR hauls and these are the new benefit California kissing color balm moisturizing lip balms and I got the shade nude pink I did have another color on my wish list too that was sold out and the formula of these are very pretty it does have a bit of a floral scent to which I don't like but I do like that color so we'll see how comfortable that feels here's what the packaging looks like a little bulky I know this is not gonna fit where I have my lipstick so that's annoying and this was originally $21 so 20% off it was $16.80 which is still a little pricey so I'm gonna make sure I like that then I did get one of the buxom full force plumping lipsticks in supermodel and I recently saw that Leah Janae found these at TJ Maxx. I went to check my Marshalls. They didn't have it. So I'm going to have my sister check the store back home. And I'm going to go back this weekend to try to find these because I think they were finding them for like $7. And these are $20 lipsticks. I got the shade Supermodel, which looks so pretty. I know Emily Noel has raved a lot about these lipsticks. And here's what that one looks like. So I'm really hoping to find this at TJ Maxx because it will be even cheaper, of course. But this is normally $20. So with that 20% off coupon, it was only $16. Bucks, which is still a lot for a lipstick. And then I got three of the new Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipsticks, the Nude Collection. I've only seen a few people post swatches of these and they had a deeper complexion than I do. So I wanted to see what these look like on me. I'm leaving the plastic on here because that has the barcode in case I want to return some of the shades. So the first one I have is Tease, which is a little bit more of a tan color, which is not exactly my vibe, but it, it's not really how it looked online, but that's okay. Next we have a more pinky color. This one is called Pleasure. And it's definitely warmer than it looks in the bullet you can see like as i've swatched it the tip looks warmer than like the rest of the bullet that hasn't been swatched yet which is a little weird i guess it just has something to do with that matte formula and then the last color is secret which is the more pink tone of the three and there it is right there it's still kind of warm i think i'm gonna like this one the best but i definitely will try all of these on my lips to see what i think so full price these are 8.99 20 percent off they are seven dollars and 19 cents these did go 30 percent off during the lipstick day sale which was after i had already purchased these and i wanted to wait for them to come in before i bought any other shades or repurchase these shades for an extra discount and they did come in time before the lipstick day sale ended. The color I think I'm gonna like the most is Secret and then that one was sold out. So it's fine. There's not that much of a difference between 30 and 20% off a product that's that affordable. And then let me show you the gift bag. There were two different options and this was free with a $50 purchase. It's an eight piece summer splash hair sampler. So you have a little deluxe size sample, dry bar, jump start, quick dry blowout serum. These are all minis. Batiste Tropical Dry Shampoo. The Sexy Hair Texture Surfer Girl Dry Texturizing Spray. This is American Crew Matte Clay. I'll pass that on. And then the Virtue Full Shampoo and Conditioner, which will be fun to try. And then the best part, this is a full size hair towel from Grande Cosmetics, so like a turby twist. So that is fantastic. I love these and I'm happy to have some more. 
I haven't tried any from this brand. I've just tried the original Turby Twist. So that will be awesome. And then with my second Friday order, again, I got another of that set, which has an extra product in it. That happens to me all the time whenever I have a freebie bag. Usually one or two products is missing. So this one also has the Redken Frizz Dismiss shampoo. Oh no, it has this instead of the Aquage Volumizing Mist, which is fine because I probably won't use this anyway. So, all right, I'm okay with that. I think they always say like samples may vary. Sorry, I'm trying to go quickly. I've got 10% battery left on my camera. So next I got something that has been out of stock since the last 21 Days of Beauty when I was hoping to buy this. And that would be the Persona Eyeliner in bronze. And they changed the packaging on this as well, which again, might be why it took so long to restock and this just looks so pretty i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this i swatched it right there very excited to see how long wearing that might be this was normally 14 dollars, so with 20 percent off it was 11.20 this is the nyx filler instinct lipstick in beach casual which is a really pretty warm nude shade a lot of people have really loved this. Normally $8 on sale for $6.40. And here's what that NYX lipstick looks like. It's a little jacked up because it got mushed up in the lid. And these are supposed to be plumping lipsticks. So we'll see about that. Oh, they're kind of sheer. I'm, I'm having to do several passes. I wasn't expecting it to be sheer. So we'll see how it looks and feels on the lips. And then I just got some random products. This is a repurchase. It is the Sesh V top coat. Normally $9.95. Got it for $7.96. And then I wanted to purchase some things for the Keratosis Polaris on my arms because I'm almost done with that First Aid Beauty scrub, which is very expensive. So I got the value size of the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. And then I also got the SA Lotion for rough and bumpy skin. And I think SA is salicylic acid, if I'm not mistaken. So the big cleanser is normally $16.99. Got it on sale for $13.59. The lotion is normally $18.99, which is a lot. And I got it for $15.19. So that is a pretty good deal i'm excited to try those out so a ton of makeup a couple of random things and lots of really good freebies so i have a lot of lip products to test out i'm very picky with lip products i'm sure some of these will go back i'm not hoping to return stuff but like a little bit because i spent so much but we'll see there's a lot of really fun new formulas for me to try out that i'm super excited about so I would love to know if you guys placed any orders during that time. And if you did not know about this, do yourself a favor and go right now to Instagram and follow Beauty Deals BFF. She posts the best makeup sales. That's how I find out about like everything. She's incredible. And I would love to know your thoughts on these products. I would love to know what you purchased and I'm sorry I'm rushing through this video, but I'm gonna thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.